me. So before I begin and before I go out the door, um, this is what's left of my little poor little beans. Y'all, I had so many, but when I transplanted them into here, I kind of damaged them. And these are my only two that are surviving, barely. But I did drop some more seeds in there. They just haven't come up yet. And so over here, I have my cucumbers and my tomatoes because they love each other. They're, you know, they're friends. Anyway, um, y'all see that? Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look. And I'm very rough with my stuff, and I need to be better because I was moving this little stake, and I pulled that little string, but it has since grew another one since this morning when I did that right there. How awesome and that one over there is acting like it wants to bud out with the flower and this one right here and here's another one and they started doing that after I fed them y'all so feeding helps I didn't do a lot of that last year I'm trying to be better I'm trying to be a better person Okay, so this one I'm just noticing, she's not doing well. This is a tomato. She's not getting sun because the bigger ones are keeping her from getting the light. So I'm going to take her out. She's still good. I can still tell by the stem, but I'm going to have to put her over here. And I have my coffee drying out right there. And I just come and I take my little sprinkle dust. And I sprinkle it on my stuff. But yeah, I'm going to move her so she can get some light, y'all. Because she was right there and all these leaves are over her. But they are looking so good. This tomato, oh my gosh, y'all. Let me try to be gentle. Whew, I already broke one. Look at her. She looked good. Girl, good enough to eat. Let me stop. So, let's light back on you. There we go. So, out chill, we have um, garlic. This is going really weird. It's like something tried to get to it. Label yourself, y'all. Don't be like me. So, this is my peach tree, if you can see her blooming because the weather is so flaky but here's the thing and why i say don't trim all of your branches off because you don't know what they'll do you also don't know what the birds or the squirrels are going to do because almost every morning i come out here and one of these beautiful branches is bending and hanging down stuck it in here and it is still blooming i still have not gotten my bins for this so this weekend is going to be a cleanup these I planted these were like the flowers and the some herbs that I did the other day in a video and so far my marigolds are the only ones that are saying hello to the world well here we go we got a Cosmo poking her head out here I don't see any you know here's something coming through what is it a morning glory coming through. I see some green right up in here. I don't know if you can see it, but I see it. And that's going to be peppermint. So it's a few green specks coming in through. And then over here, we have basil that's starting to poke out. We have a lot of greenery. Oh, I'm kind of holding the phone crazy. A lot of little greenery poking out through after seeing beauty in the gardens video today i need to take advantage of the space that i have because i know nothing about planning this stuff out so over here oh i forgot to show you something so funny okay so over here i had put my um these little sweet potatoes that i had in the house or whatever i had put them in here but I don't see anything poking out. Matter of fact, my soil, I see a potato itself poking out. So I'm going to cover that on up. And whatever did come up, 
is dead now because of the doggone cold we had got. See, look, it's still living though. We just need to get that piece off. See that? That's ridiculous. Throw that away. Okay, so I'm keeping it real over here. This is gonna be real, okay? I'm new to this. This is my second year. And anyway, in here I had put some russet potatoes that were um what do you call it? Chitting. Um, and so I put them in here, and everywhere that I put them, this is what I'm seeing. God, that sun. I love the sun, but I can't show you what I'm trying to show you. See here? Woo. So I had these down up under my table where I have my starts at. I had put these potatoes in a bowl up under there. And as you can see, look at the beauty. Look at the beauty. Now they're only doing one side. Um another one there's one starting here so i'm gonna wait a little minute and see but if they were doing on both sides like homestead heart said i would cut them in half but they're only doing one side right now but i was like oh wow look because i didn't realize that they had started because i try to put them and forget them because if i keep looking at stuff it stresses me out like when are you gonna do something Look at that. And it's just ready. So I'm gonna let them sit a little longer because I'm not ready because I have to get another container to put them in because I already have these potatoes right here are what I just showed you that were sprouting out with the greenery. So I'm not gonna add them to that because that will be too many. So I'm gonna put them back under here until I'm ready. So right here, I haven't planted in this yet, so don't think I'm tearing something up. All I did was get the soil ready. This is fresh soil. This is not my soil from last year. Um, get me some um, good old compost worms and stuff going. You know, you can always add worms to your stuff. I don't care. You could buy fishing worms and add them to it. Whatever works. I did that too. I didn't do that this time, but I might. But anyway. I'm going to give this a little wet down. And smooth it out a little bit. I just wanted it loose because I'm about to put... And I don't want to wet it after I put the seeds in because then I'll be moving my seeds. So in this bin, I'm going to put this lettuce. And in some black containers over there, I'm going to take out my old jalapeno peppers that I had that they ain't coming back, y'all. And I'm going to plant some new ones. So... I also don't have anything in this one. This is empty for me too. This has some flowers um, trying to grow in it. Then this one has spinach. As you can see, they just started my onions and whatever the squirrels aren't tearing apart. Um, like they not they tore all of that out but um over here is the elephant ear and as you can see i moved this out the way so that you could see the green on it here and here's the little baby trying to be born here and then on the other side it was yeah right there right there you can't see it because it's but it's another one trying to come up and then look at her. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that awesome? Well, it is to me anyway. It might not be to y'all, but it is to me because, y'all, I thought I might lose her. And anything's still possible. 
Now this um, fragrant tea olive tree is doing good, y'all, but I'm kind of thinking I should have put more soil in it and at least up to here. That way she could sit up a little higher. I don't want to move her, but I may pull her out and just add a little more soil to her. But well, she's doing good. I hope I do. If I don't, then it's going to be a bunch of containers out here. But I am going to mulch in between because it's just it's a mess. I don't like it. So these right here, they have not started blooming yet. I got these the same time I got the other ones, y'all. But they just slow. And then it just started doing that. I just noticed that today. And there's another one down in there. So hopefully they'll give me some color. I guess they say, uh-uh, we ain't crazy. It's going to get cold. Doing this one yet. I don't know because I'm thinking about individually doing my tomatoes in containers and like that and then do something else in here. We'll see. We'll see. Y'all got to figure it out. Oh, I'm beat. So all this time I thought I was recording and I thought I got me putting the seeds in here. Some of them ain't covered up though. So... That's it, y'all. Um, y'all have a very blessed day. Thank y'all for chilling with me while I did some of this stuff. And I promise y'all, I'm going to get this yard together. I'm going to get it together. I wanted to have it together before I have my hand surgery. Because I don't want him to do stuff and then he might do it the way he want to do it and not the way I want to do it or the way we should be deciding together how to do it. But anyway. Okay, so this is the end of the video and I did a whole lot of straightening up today. I started yesterday um, with painting my chairs because I had gotten these chairs from my mom and they're old, they are, but I was like, well, let me see if I can bring them back to life. Now this wasn't the color they were, they were like a gray color and then it was kind of rusty so this is my favorite color so i decided to paint them this color and then now i just have to go and buy the um, seating for it the cushions for it now as you can see when i walked out i have moved everything from this little area right here because i told y'all i wanted my two raised beds to go here that way i can run a cow panel from this one over here to the one that I'll have here and the same for that one right there. So this right here will be my walkway. I still have to move. I still have some more stuff to do y'all. But this bag of hay, I'm gonna move that. But I had a pile of leaves here. I decided to move the leaves because I'm probably gonna put some seating out here also. I had already started making a bed over here. I have soil up underneath the um, leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to section this off. And this will be a bed. I haven't decided, but I think squash. And then I decided to use these bins, that planter with the elephant ear, and then that bin over there doesn't have soil in it. But these are going to be here just to try to make it look a little more pretty. And then 
this pile of leaves has soil up underneath it it was going to be a bed i decided to make it um, just flowers and let me see i have still have that pile of leaves over there i flipped my old dog pen around dog house around we don't have a dog anymore she passed last june um so i still got to finish spray painting this pot so i added more new soil to this it's nothing in it but the um garlic and then I'm letting that seed out and then it's nothing in here but the garlic and then I just planted uh, some sweet bell peppers in these planters and then yesterday in these I did um, oh, what did I, jalapeno peppers each one has probably four or five seeds in them so if I need to split them later when they grow up, then I will. But that's what's in there. So I'm trying to bring as many pollinators to my yard as I can this year. <clears throat> I still have to weed eat, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to let my son do it. I moved everything that was in the center of my yard to this corner over here for right now. Just out of sight. And it's a lot more neater than how I had it. But this area gets a lot of sun. So this is going to be my melon lane. Watermelons, cantaloupe, all that good stuff will be over here. In a raised bed. So this is just here for now. And then I put... I took these... Um, collars out of that first raised bed and I just put them all in here because I already had some in here that were um, in the back of the yard that I forgot about and they were growing so I said well let me add those to it and put them over here and those are my celery and then my son's gonna we eat all this well I don't know I might end up doing but it ain't gonna be today these are my potatoes I did mulch them and sweet potatoes over here so i moved my peach tree to this little corner right here and i spray paint my can but i was running out so i'll probably get some more and, and finish that up but anyway that's how it's looking i gotta get i'm gonna get um a couple more fruit trees i don't know where i'm gonna put them yet they'll probably go up against the fence over there and I told my husband I wanted my rabbit hutch over here, but we have to decide because he was like, I don't know with all the squirrels and fleas and you don't want them to get it. So anyway, we'll figure that out. But that's it, y'all. I did enough cleanup out here that I could do. I'm beat. So bye, y'all. Chapter